they found a new water world. The discovery was made by a team of Montreal researchers. It's a new exoplanet, an ocean planet. Now, Max, the observatory at Lac Megantic played a key role in this. That's right, Mitsumi, and it's hard to overstate how far the technology has come when it comes to observing these faraway worlds. And now we're finding out that Montreal scientists are at the forefront of this kind of discovery. The exoplanet they found has been named TOI 1452b. It's slightly greater in size and mass than the Earth, and it's believed to have a rocky core that is entirely covered in a light material, most likely water. The planet is located in the Draco constellation, about 100 light years away from us here on Earth. The planet is uh, ju just far enough from its star where it's not too cold or too hot for liquid water to exist on its surface. René Doyon of the University de Montréal led the team that worked on the discovery, and they actually designed a special instrument in their lab, a, a spectrograph that was used at the Lac Mégantic Observatory. The spectrograph separates the observed light by frequency, enabling the scientists to determine that it is in fact a planet, as well as its distance to its star and its mass. Although people consider the Earth to have a lot of water on it, that's nothing compared to this new ocean planet. Just to give you an example, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the mass fraction of this planet in water could be as high as 20%. In fact, it could be from zero to 30%. But on the Earth, this is less than 0.1%. I mean, it, we're, it's an illusion there's lots of water on the Earth because it covers 70% of, of the surface of the Earth. But in, in terms of mass, this is a tiny fraction of, of, of the mass on the Earth. This is only 0.1%. So uh, this is a very strange world that we've never encountered before. We think that these planets exist. We have good reasons from a theoretical uh, uh, formation point of view that these planets should exist, uh, should exist, but we don't have yet good example. So the newly discovered planet has a very deep ocean. And next, the scientists will try and determine what the planet's atmosphere is like. And perhaps someday, Mitsumi, in the future, well, who knows, humans can stop by for a nice <laughs> little swim. Okay. Thank you very much, Max.